All right, here we go. This is just for, you know, normal shots. If you're looking around sort of like what's not looking at a person. This is the one time lens on the Samsung and the linear on the GoPro. Both 4K 30. I'm using a flat color profile on the GoPro and I'll tweak the colors a bit. So this will be about as good as you can get off a GoPro. Different light. Okay, here's the wide lens on the GoPro. And I'm gonna go over here and get out of the sun, give you different lighting, and uh, sort of show you what they look like. I always found GoPros are just obviously smoother. Like watch as I pan at the same speed, they're both side by side, and how it handles the light. They're all on auto balances, just basically flat color profile on the GoPro. And wide on the GoPro, okay. I'll change my direction for light and why this is wide on the Samsung. Both held the same distance away. Which one do you prefer? For vlogging, it's a choice. They're both about the same size, but you always have the phone, but damn it, the GoPro isn't that big. See, so, yeah, different lighting here, sort of balance you out a bit. That's what you're going to look at, and I recommend the handles because they're quick to turn. You don't get your hand in the way. Those are both of the wide lenses. Okay, this is the regular lens on the best lens on the Samsung and the linear on the GoPro. What I often like is, you know, if I'm moving, this isn't moving too fast. They're both moving side by side. How do they handle things? The GoPro always is going to be smoother. It does a true frame rate. Phones do sort of a, this is an unknown thing some of you might not know. You can force a frame rate on some apps, but the native apps for the Samsung, which work pretty good with a lot of features, a lot of times the frame rates are all over the place. It's like a variable frame rate. Right? So you'll have to sort of put it through a handbrake afterwards if you don't want the choppy video. And even then, it might be choppy. You're going to have to play with it a bit. I don't know why smartphones do that. I wish some had, I guess there's some apps for a constant frame rate. There's a little bit better dynamic range on the 23 and 24 for the Samsung, but not a huge sort of thing. So this will give you a rough idea of like sort of the framing, the general look of both. What do you prefer? Again, it depends. I, I, I hate when videos do that, but it really does. I mean, a day like today, I'll just take the GoPro out. It's gonna look good. Uh, the linear lens doesn't give you the distortion, so you don't know it's a GoPro. Use the flat color profile, do a hair of grading, and you get super smooth, great audio. I don't know, just works. But if you're getting into nighttime, I tend to more towards the phone, even though it'll still look like a phone at night. You know, you got to be slower moving and that sort of thing. But I always have the phone. Samsung S22, 23 and 24 Ultras and even the non-Ultras have a very, very, very similar image. So this will give you an idea. Don't get all triggered. The GoPro is a GoPro 12. But then again, the GoPro 11, 12, and 13 all have the same sensors, so it's almost the same picture. So if you're comparing any of those mentioned devices, this is gonna be in the ballpark of what you'll get. Okay, just to show you, and I won't do it for long, this is the linear, okay, on the GoPro, looking at you, GoPro. But this is the selfie, like the front-facing camera on the Samsung, the lowest quality camera. It works, you know, here you are. But as you can see, the framing, like, is very much different. And I'm not fully extending my arms, just to a comfortable, I can hold it here for a while, sort of thing. You might like this look, that's a selfie. But then again, when I turn them around, watch this. You know, switching lenses gets jerky, but that's the, the front-facing camera quality, which will, yeah, you know, it says whatever, 40 megapixels, it's 4K 30, but it's just a small little, again, that's the, front-facing camera if you do turn it around what your surroundings may look like so back again just so you remember that's linear I like that it doesn't show you the GoPro thing you can use a wide if you want to and that's the selfie camera which I find a little too punched in but you may not hmm okay here's the nighttime shot now this is not super dark but it'll give you an idea of nighttime video it's actually kind of bright but uh, I mean this is getting well, it's different, right? More of a city vlog sort of thing. Where is it darker? Well, I mean, a lot of nighttime shots are just this sort of thing anyway. That's what to expect. 
usually when it gets a little darker like this, now I'm gonna move the cameras around quicker here so you can just sort of see how the movement might break up. And something like this, it's raining, you know, it's not that bad. Like if, if you're in a little city doing a vlog and you have your GoPro, it's not a dark alley. This is totally passable. Yeah, I guess this isn't really low light, it's just night light, you know? Which one do you prefer? Uh, that's the linear lens on the uh, GoPro. And just the standard lens on the Samsung. And you'll see it's quite a bit wider, just the linear. Here, I'll go to the wide lens. Okay, there's the wide lens on the uh, Samsung. And that's the linear on the GoPro. So you're even finding the widest lens on your camera isn't going to hold up. Now I'm going to move a little quicker. You shouldn't be doing this vlogging anyway, but there's about the quickest movements as you'll be doing. And that's the widest you'll get on a Samsung. The new 23s and 24s are similar. But yeah, passable for this sort of thing, for sure. Okay, uh, there is low light, sort of. So this is where a lot of people say that the GoPros fall apart. But there's a bit of light, so what do you think? Uh, that's linear again on the GoPro and the widest lens you'll find on at least the Samsung Ultras. Does it fall apart? You know, the linear has good stabilization and uh, it's not using... Yeah, there you go, there's lower light. Which do you prefer? That's the widest lens, so it's not the best one on the phone, but... Uh, GoPro's not doing as bad as everybody says. It's still passable. It just depends on what lens you're using and make sure you're not doing 60 frames sort of thing. You can also play around with some of the shutter speeds and ISOs. This is just auto. Yeah, which one's holding up better? We'll sh soon find out. If the light's good, like today is pretty damn good, right? Uh, I'll just take the GoPro out if I have it. I like the audio on the GoPro too. This is using the wireless mic a Rode wireless mic, and it does uh, about a 1500 kilo, like, kilobits per second or whatever the heck it is, bit rate on the audio. Whereas if you put those wireless mics into your phone, yeah, they advertise 24 bit, 32 bit float, all this junk, but it's coming wireless. So when it actually records through the air, phones like the Samsung here, pretty typical 256, which is good, good MP3, but it just gives you a bit more punch, a bit more depth on the, it's got a, this uh, GoPro with the, Media Mod has a pretty good audio pickup, actually, to be honest. Even the Media Mod itself isn't too bad, but this just steps it up a lot more. My suggestion, that's the nighttime camera right here. Eh, they all suck at night, these digital cameras, but you can play around with a few settings in the pro mode and maybe get something passable, but you cannot do that on action cameras. And if you're thinking, hey, well, maybe there's an action camera that does, yeah, you'll go down the rabbit hole of all the reviews, the DJI does a bit better, the Ace 360. There's about two or three main competitors, but overall, they all fall apart pretty quick. So don't be duped into thinking you're gonna be using any current action camera when it gets really dark. It's just, it's possible, but it's gonna be very similar to your phone, which you already have or whatever. And in terms of which one to buy, everybody's heard of GoPro. I'd probably buy a DJI right now, but just to try it out more than anything, but the GoPro on a nice day has a really detailed picture. That's the edge, so it depends what you're looking for. The one thing I've noticed is everybody's swayed by the internet, and a lot of these GoPro 11, 12s, and 13s, 13s no, because it's new, but the 12s, you can buy them for like dirt cheap. Like I've seen them going around here in Taipei, GoPro 12s would be around the 300 bucks used. They'll probably be six, seven months used. And new DJIs like Action 4s or 5s, uh, there's still another 100 bucks or whatever. So if you want to save yourself some cash, pick up a secondhand GoPro. They're dirt cheap now because they're getting hit by all the, all the review sites are going DJI, but if you know what you're doing, you can get as good or better out of the GoPro, in my opinion, in certain cases only. Not low light, 
All right, it's getting loud. Bye-bye.